Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. I am Ashish Bishas, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School Bondingship. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. My dear student, today is our first class of half uh, of annual term examination 2021. And Today is our lecture number one and is W number one. My dear student, our today's topic name, uh, chapter four, basic discussion, exercise four. From exercise four, we shall solve two number question. From two, we shall solve one as your CW. And uh, exercise four, one and two one will be your SW. I hope you have understood. So my dear student, your class name is five and subject name, mathematics sorry i forgot to write this on the board okay my dear student now we shall uh, start our class so the name of the chapter is mathematical symbol the name the, of the chapter is mathematical symbol so at first i ask you a question how many numeric num digits are there in number system there are 10 that means 0 1 2 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So there are 10 digits in mathematics, mathematical symbol. By using this digit, we shall make all the numbers. I hope you have understood. So if the if a short question is come in our in your annual examination, how many digits are there in number system? The answer will be 10. I hope you have understood. Next, how many operational signs are there? there are four operational signs what are they they are plus minus division and multiplication that means there are four mathematical uh, four operational sign now dear student we shall learn two sentence one number is open sentence and another one is closed sentence so open sentence What do you mean by open sentence? When we cannot determine a sentence is true or false, then that type of sentence is called open sentence. I repeat, when a sentence uh, we can, when a sentence cannot be determined, it is true or false, then that type of sentence is called open sentence. Suppose an example, A is an even number. We don't know the value of A. For this reasons, we can determine it is true or false. So we cannot determine it as we can say this is open sentence. Such type of sentence, another one, x is an word number. Here, x is unknown value. For this reason, we can determine it is true or false. So it is a, it is an example of open sentence also. Now we shall learn closed sentence or mathematical sentence. So, how can we define closed sentence? Closed sentence. When we can determine just opposite of open side, uh, open sentence. When we can determine a sentence is true or false, then that type of sentence is closed sentence. The another name of closed sentence is mathematical sentence. The another name of uh, uh, a closed sentence is mathematical sentence okay this is also called mathematical sentence okay i hope you have understood now my dear student i give you two example notice five is an even number even number on the other hand, 2 plus 7 equal to 10. On the other hand, uh, 9 minus 6 equal to 3. So please notice, 5 is an even number. It is true or false? It must be false because we know 5 is an word number. Okay. So we can determine it is false. It is false. As it is false and we can determine, for this reason we call this is closed sentence or mathematical sentence, right? Okay. 
then 2 plus 7 what do you mean by 2 plus 7 if we add 2 with 7 then we get 9 but here is 10 so it is also false so we can say this is mathematical sentence or closed sentence okay then 9 minus 6 equal to 3 okay this is true as it is true and we can determine it is true or false so we can say that this is mathematical sentence or closed sentence i hope you have understood my dear student if uh, some question arises in your exam can you answer that question what is open sentence and what is uh, closed sentence now please notice x plus 5 equal to 9 okay what type of sentence this is okay what type of sentence this is answer will be can you determine it is true or false we can determine so we can say this is open sentence open sentence okay i hope you have understood now we shall solve some problems from your examples number one choose an appropriate symbol among less than equal sign greater than sign number one 12 divided by 3 plus 4 multiply 5 gap 12 multiply 3 divided by 4 plus 5 number 2 48 divided by 8 multiply 2 minus 4 gap 48 multiply 8 divided by 2 minus 4 my dear student in this blank box we need to put operation uh, put symbols from this 3 1 okay so how can so first of all question number 1 1 at first we solve left hand side l a s s left hand side is 12 divided by 3 plus 4 multiply by 5 so my dear student at first we divide this 12 by 3 because we know when we do simplification then these rules is followed both must b means bracket o means of d means division m means multiplication a means addition and finally n means subtraction so at first we do the work of bracket then we do of then we do division work then we do multiplication then we do addition and at least we do subtraction so here you notice division sign plus sign and multiplication sign between these three sign at first we do the work of division that means we divide 12 by 3 if we divide 12 by 3 then we get 4 okay plus 4 multiply by 5 now my dear student plus and multiply from these two sign we do the work of multiply first so 4 5 jar 20 right is here 20 now we do addition 4 plus 20 that means 24 so if we solve this then we get 24 okay i hope you have understood next we shall solve right hand side right hand side is r a s s okay 12 multiply by 3 plus 5 sorry 12 multiply by 3 divided by 4 plus 5 so my dear student how can we solve multiply sign division sign 4 plus so at first we do the work of division first 12 multiply we divide this 3 by 4 can we divide if we divide then decimal number is come for this reason we don't divide we just write this number as a fraction that means 3 this is one kind of division so we write 4 plus 5 my dear student if you do 12 multiply 3 first then it that will be wrong so you must do the uh, do the math just like this okay i hope you have understood now 12 multiply 3 by 4 that means here is a 1 so we do multiplication so we divide this 12 by 4 and we get 3 3 4 are 12 and this 1 and here on 1 1 are 1 we need not to write 1 as a denominator because we know every number has a denominator which is 1 and as numerator 3 multiply 9 that means 9 3 multiply 3 then 3 3 are 9 and this plus sign is here after that 5 so when we do addition 9 with 5 then we get 14 my dear student notice if we uh, when we solve left hand side then we get 24 
when we solve right hand side then we get 14. So, 24 is greater than 14. So, now we write the expression 12 divided by 3 plus 4 multiply by 5 then box is here after that 12 multiply 3 divided by 4 plus 5. So, in box which sign is placed this sign that means this one is greater than this this one is greater than this ok and answer will be greater than sign I hope you have understood. So, this is the solution upon similar way we shall solve question number 2 here we write left hand side first ok left hand side is 48 divided by 8 multiplied 2 minus 4. So, 48 at first we do the work of bracket first. So, here first bracket. So, in bracket there are two sign plus sign uh, minus sign and multiplication sign. So, between these two sign at first we do the work of multiplication that means 8 to the 16 minus 4 ok. Then 48 is written here after the division then we subtract 4 from 16 and we get 12. We divide this 48 by 12 and we get 4. So, left hand side is 4 and right hand side what is right hand side? Right hand side is 48 multiply 8 divided by 2 minus 4. Now, we do the division, uh, work of division first that means here we write 48 multiply if we divide 8 by 2 then we get 4 minus 4. Now, we multiply 48 by 4, 4, uh, 8, 8, 4, 32, carrying 3, 4, 4, 16, 16 plus 3, 19, 192 minus 4. Now, we do subtract and we get 8, uh, carrying 1, that one is here and that means 1 to 9, it will be 8, 188. So, my dear student notice, left hand side is 4 and right hand side is 188. So, left hand side is smaller than right hand side. So, in box we write therefore, 48 divided by 8 multiplied 2 minus 4 in box we write smaller than sign that means this one is a smaller than right hand side. Right hand side is 48 multiplied by 8 divided by 2 minus 4. So, this is the answer I hope you have understood. My dear student, next we shall solve question number 2 and it is so easy, it is so easy. When we shall solve, then you can easily solve such type of maths, other maths, okay, of this exercise, okay. Express the following sentences in mathematical sentence and identify open and mathematical sentence. That means, here some sentences are given and first we convert this sentences into mathematical sentence. After that, we identify sentences uh, open or sentences closed. So, first one adding x to 5 equals 12. This is so easy. So, number 2, 1. Then adding x to 5 that means x plus 5 equal 12. Can we determine it is true or false? We cannot determine. For this reason, we can say this sentence is mathematical sentence. We do not write closed sentence because question ask you to find out mathematical sentence, not closed sentence. So, you write this is mathematical sentence. This is mathematical sentence. Okay, first one is done. Next one, number 2, multiplying 3 by 4 equal 12. 3 multiplied by 4 equal to 12. This is true. As it is true, sorry, it is not mathematical sentence. We can determine. When we can determine uh, a sentence is true or false, then that sentence will be open sentence. So, this sentence is open sentence. I am really sorry for that. Open sentence. Okay. 3 multiplied by 4 equal to 12. If we multiply 3 with 4, then we get 12. And it is true. As it is true and we can determine it is true. So, we can say this is mathematical sentence. This is mathematical sentence. Okay. Then number 3. 
dividing 26 by 4 is equal to 5. Dividing 26 by 4 equal to 5. If we divide this 26 by 4, then decimal number is come. For this reason, this sentence is wrong. That means we can determine this is a false statement. So, it is mathematical sentence. Math medical sentence okay then number four number four is putting putting this quadrilateral and triangle together makes 10 that means it is so easy we write this triangle and uh, quadrilateral plus triangle equal to 10 we cannot determine it is true or false so we can say this is open sentence. This is open sentence. This is open sentences. Next, my dear student, we shall solve uh, question number 2 from exercise 4. From 2, we shall solve 2. And from, uh, from 2, one number question will be your SW. Okay. So, two number question determine the unknown values in the following open sentences so that it comes true. That means, my dear student, the question uh, give you the information that this sentence are open sentence. From open sentence, we need to find out the unknown value. Okay. So, first of all, we read the question receiving 23 taka after paying uh, 50 taka for X taka's item. That means, my dear student. Suppose we went to a shop to buy a pen. Okay, that pen price is 10 taka. That pen price is 10 taka. And you give the shopkeeper 50 taka note. If give the shopkeeper 50 taka note. After that, the shopkeeper return you 40 taka. After that, the shopkeeper return you 40 taka. So, how can we get the price of pen? Okay, when we give shopkeeper 50 taka and the shopkeeper return us 40 taka, so, we can easily subtract that return amount from the total amount and we get the price of pen. So, we subtract 40 from 50 and we get 10. That means pen price. Similarly, we subtract 23 uh, from 50, we get the value of x. I hope you have understood. So, we write this to two number question. Two number question receiving 23 taka from that means 50 minus 23 equal to x. Okay, now we change the whole side that means left right hand side will be left hand side and left hand side will be right hand side. When we change the whole sign, then no sign will be changed. That means 50 minus 23. Now therefore x equal to when we do subtraction, then we get 27. So, the value of x is 27. It is the answer. That means the price of uh, the unknown value is 27. Okay. So, my dear student, this is our today's lecture. Okay. And now please open your math book. That means exercise book. From page number 25, from page number 25, exercise 4. Question number 1 and question number 2 will be your SW. From question number 2, you solve only question number 1. From 2, you solve only sub number 1. I hope you have understood. I repeat. Page number 25 of your EMB book, exercise 4, you shall solve question number 1. Okay. And similar as you shall solve question number 2. Okay. From 2, you shall solve only sub number one right okay my dear student you must submit your assign sw in our school campus in every saturday within 9 a.m to 3 p.m keep practicing at home abide by your parents if you don't any portion in our class then you must make a phone call to me so my dear student keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then